Are they celebrity shutter bugs, modern day murrows, or bullies with cameras? It's Pop Goes the Paparazzi, and that's today's BFD. Brain Food Daily. Hey guys, I'm Joe Hartzler. If you're like me, you know it's impossible to leave a My Little Pony convention without being swarmed by photographers. The recent Kate Middleton scandal caused a global uproar because one, we saw her royal hoo-ha, and two, it brought up unpleasant memories of Princess Diana's harassment by the paparazzi. So is it any surprise that some celebrities are taking matters into their own hands and fists? Are the paparazzi violating the right to privacy or just doing their jobs? Now let's take a hot shower and head to a BFD three-way. Kelly Lynch is editor at socialitelife.com, and Jillian Sheldon is a former tmz -er. Thank you both so much for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you, Joe. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, so do the paparazzi need famous people, or do famous people need the paparazzi? It's a multi-billion, billion dollar business, right? So if you're an actor and the studio is betting a hundred million dollars on you, if you're out and about promoting their movie, that drives butts in seats at mm -hmm. the end of the day and sells tickets. Have things gotten more toxic or has it always really been this way? There was an air of mystery about celebrities once upon a time, and that is no longer the case. Back in the day, um, you know, we were used to seeing celebrities on the red carpet, at premieres, and nowadays we're seeing them getting coffee without any makeup on, and there is such a demand from the public to see these celebrities in every uh, way, shape, or form. Okay, so famous people, uh, have they given up some of their right to privacy? Is that the price of fame? A lot of people can say, oh, the paparazzi should protect these people's privacy and you know, leave them be, but at the end of the day, consumers buy these magazines. Celebrities do give up some privacy, but uh, where do you draw the line? You know, then you're sort of playing with, especially in our country, First Amendment. Who gets to draw the line? Who says that something is off limits or not? It's all in public interest. If we stopped looking at these photos and consuming this content, the financial motivation would be gone. And so unfortunately, there really isn't a line. There's a line of decency, but who am I to say that that's a line that you don't cross? I agree with Jillian, definitely. But I think there are, uh, you know, when, when we are caught in these, in these moments of sadness and grief, um, it depends on the context. There's a difference between it being poignant and it being invasive. For instance, you know, JFK Jr. saluting his father's casket, that was poignant. That was a historical moment. In the recent uh, Kate Middleton photos that came out, was there, was there a line crossed there where the world saw a princess naked? With the royal family, they are above celebrity. They were essentially born into their roles. Uh, you know, when they inherit the throne, they don't get elected into the throne. So they are, in a sense, public people, but they also are entitled to their private lives. The paparazzi are like the CIA. They can find anyone, anytime, anywhere. The photos that were taken, how they took those photos, those long lenses, they were over a mile away. I mean, think about the technology to take a photo of someone over a mile away. At the end of the day, she is in the public eye, and it's unfortunate, but she enjoys um, a, a pretty deluxe lifestyle. Can you give us a sense of what the money's like for these paparazzis? Uh, uh, what, are they, what are they making for photos? Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, they were first pictured walking on the beach in Africa. That one photo, one shot, one slide, one photo, netted about $250,000. If you could take one photo and make $250,000 in one five minute time span, would you hop a fence? If you knew that the, that set of photos could keep your family fed for you know, many years to come. Kelly, Jillian, thank you so much for being with us. I uh, really appreciate you taking a moment to talk with us. Oh, thank you, my pleasure. Thank you, Joe, this was fun. So there you have it. Do celebrities have a right to privacy or is this all just the price of fame? If you think this culture needs to change, click the link in the description below to pledge not to support tabloid magazines and websites. And if you'd like to see my whole interview with Jillian Sheldon and Kelly Lynch, please click the other link in the description below. I'm Joe Hartzler, see you next week and subscribe or I might just show up at your house with a camera.